Hi guys, uh, a lot of people complained that the video tutorial uh, for the first release had no sound. So for the second release, second revision of uh, this release, uh, I decide to redo the video tutorial and include audio as well. Uh, anyway, I had no choice because in uh, the second revision we have a new file format. Uh, another thing that I've been requested is that I provide the blend file, so I will do it uh, as well. And if and also people ask me if they can have like the original video that I was using, and I'm launching a message to all the community here. Uh, if someone can host uh, these files, because my server bandwidth suck big time. So if someone can be kind enough uh, to be capable to provide me an FTP account somewhere. I will upload them and give you know like an alternative to YouTube since on YouTube the, the, the quality is pretty low even if uh, we are requesting video in high quality so basically quick introduction okay like uh, uh, for the one that are not familiar with SIO2 and for the one that are familiar anyway this uh, second revision uh, introduced a new file format that is now text based okay uh, I'm trading uh, the first file format was basically only binary which was actually faster but I'm seeing a lot of problems coming up with the the next and future uh, revision so basically I decided to change the file format and to create a text file format that is uh, actually pretty similar to the file format of uh, id software for their uh, mesh and uh, etc okay and this uh, file format will be backward and forward compatible so if you have downloaded the first release uh, of SIO2 and start working on it uh, with, with your model you export already some .SIO2 just simply reopen your blend file use the exporter that is coming with uh, this revision and you can just re-export and everything will be fine so basically uh, this is for 1.2 and up okay so any other revision uh, that uh, file format will still be uh, good okay no crash it's going to be stable so basically uh, as a quick start okay uh, we're going to launch blender here there we go for this first tutorial and we are here I'm going to show you how to be capable to uh, export from blender okay uh, mesh and render them inside SIO2. So uh, I create little Suzanne here. We're going to give her a little angle here so she's looking at the camera. Okay, nice. And make sure that we are center. And we are first going to uh, export this one. I'm going to call this scene tutorial 02. There we go. And I'm going to go search my exporter that it's packaged with the SDK. All right, all good. Right click, execute the script. Okay, I'm going to change the path and I'm going to go put it in my data directory that is coming also, that should be part of the architecture of the SDK as well. And select, all right. Then I'm going to go back in my 3D view and I'm going to push A twice to be able to select all objects. Only objects that are selected will be exported, okay? And I'm going to go a little bit more further on this subject uh, later. So we have everything selected. Simply click export. All right, there you go. Then inside my data directory, I'm going to have my SIO2 that is created. A uh, quick introduction also of the SIO2 file format. Once again, it's also based, it, it's really similar as the id uh, file format. So basically, it is a zip file. So if I rename here, quick and dirty, zip file. Okay, yes, I want to use zip. All right. And I'm going to create like a new folder, blah, 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 and drag and drop it inside double click and I'm going to have my tutorial 02 that is there so basically it is an archive file where I have uh, auto created different directories so I think it's really self-explanatory like uh, objects okay like every objects file will be there and as an introduction also 
of the file format that I create for 1.2 and the future one. If we double click on it, we can see that it is like text. So basically we're going to parse this uh, text file to be able to load our model. And we also have the opportunity to add custom tags inside. Uh, this file format also supports uh, user property in Blender. Okay, so you can add uh, your own property, your own values, and after that, uh, parse them later with your own uh, custom parser. That that subject will be also. I'm going to touch that subject in another uh, tutorial uh, as well. But you know, to keep it simple, uh, right now, okay, we have export a simple mesh, and I'm going to put back my zip file here. Oops, I'm going to put my zip file in data and I'm going to flush that dummy directory and I'm going to rename my dot zip for SIO2 since it's the one that I link inside my uh, tutorial application so basically in order to be capable to link SIO2 file that is going to be uh, integrated inside your dot app okay that it's really like the the packaged executable that you're going to uh, be capable to release uh, your application with you simply need to drag and drop uh, your .sio2 inside the resource directory add and automatically is going to become part of your application which is really standard on macOS so first uh, we're going to have a first test run let's click build here and we are in landscape so turn it a little okay now I got my Suzanne. If I click on the left, on the right, I create like a basic rotation here, you know, just to show that something's happening. All right. So we got our model, but th there's absolutely no nothing on it. Like we didn't add no material and no texture, anything. So now we're going to add vertex color. I push zero to come back from my camera angle, and I'm going to select here vertex paint. I push N and select a color like let's say red and start painting my little Suzanne here. All right, close this. And this time I'm just simply going to click the UP inside the exporter. I, I, I don't really want to re-export the whole scene. I just want to export back my Suzanne that I've been modified, okay? So in this case, it's not really a big change, okay? But imagine that you have a large scene, okay? Like you can only select the objects that you want to update and then you simply click export so uh, all the objects that are not selected will be uh, ignored. So you can really like only update the archive file, the SIO2 file with the new uh, changes that you've made. We click export again, here we go. Then. My SIO2 have already been linked here, so I'm just going to build again and flip my simulator. Yeah, and we see that now my Suzanne have some vertex color here. So that's basically it. Okay, a quick and dirty tutorial to be capable to show you how to load, how to export using Blender your model and integrate them easily inside SIO2. So stay tuned for the next tutorial.